Facebook friends. I'm actually making this video because I have so many things on my mind that is bothering me. Um, particularly the high instance of um, violence, especially with the school age children. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because it is on my chest. This thing is something that is bothering me since this morning. I've seen that video and I am emotional and I am tired and I, I, I think I, I can't take it. I'm frustrated as a teacher. I'm frustrated as a parent. I worry for my daughter's safety and I worry for the safety of the children. Now, I've seen many ignorant adults on Facebook blaming the teachers blaming welfare and nobody is taking responsibility for their own children it's as if though we as the teachers we are the one that gave birth to these children and it's as if though we are the only persons who should be held responsible for their be behavior now if you have seen the video then i'm sure that you would have seen that none of these incidences occurred in the school they have occurred outside so please stop blaming the teachers do you know how hard it is on us to try to teach your children not to be violent when that is all they see in your homes why is it you can't take responsibility for your children's action do you know how many parents are the ones who are setting these examples for their children have you seen those boys one of them running the other one with the cutlass that young lady that was stopped by another young lady from her school do you think we as teachers, we're teaching these children that? Do you know how hard it is for me as a teacher to sit down in a classroom with 26 children and talk to them every single day about how they should behave? And yet still when they go home, parents are the ones who are killing each other there and teaching them that it's okay to fight back. It is okay to fight to them. Go ahead. If they do you something, you do them something back. And when you're finished, you come and you cry justice. You want justice when you are the ones who are teaching them that it is okay to fight you need to stop blaming us stop blaming us guyana has a policy that states that children under the age of 14 cannot be incarcerated they cannot uh, um, be placed before the courts they have that right yes but i am saying that these adults your parents the guardians they should be held responsible because we are only with your kids for five hours we are there with them for five hours and for those five hours we have to handle 26 different children from 26 different backgrounds and it pisses me off as a teacher to hear that the adults the, the parents and the guardians are the one who are saying that it is our fault just because those children are in uniform does not make them our responsibility automatically when they come to that school they're our responsibility when they leave that compound we 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 don't have to walk behind them we don't go to the park where they are we don't go to those places that they loiter and linger um um mingle y'all gotta excuse me right now i'm really pissed off at what's going on i i i can't imagine that people would would tell their children i know of a particular parent from my school that would tell her son when they do you something you do them back you go ahead and beat them back and when we as teachers talk to them you know that those parents are the ones who get violent they're like we are the problem we are not the problem we have to deal with 26 children we have to teach 26 children how to behave we have some teachers have more than 26 and it is very difficult on us when you are the ones who are showing them the violence when they come to school they don't see teachers fighting teachers don't fight teachers don't run each other with cut glasses teacher don't run each other um each other with um nice teachers don't cuss each other out in school and that is how your children are behaving and we are the one who has to te teach them this is wrong this is right and when you are teaching them from the grade one level that it is okay to fight back then what are you doing as parents y'all need to stop blaming us and y'all need to start taking responsibilities for your children and furthermore i think that these this policy this juvenile um justice act needs reform definitely if the children cannot be held responsible for their actions such severe actions as stabbing another child then the parents and the guardians need to be held responsible if this was the u.s and if this was any other country the parents would have been held responsible so i am calling on all the relevant authorities to take into consideration the 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 um the homes that these, ch these children are growing up in. Do you know that those the, um, those um, teachers in Georgetown that were attacked by parents, do you know that people are saying that those parents are violent, they have violent backgrounds? 
but instead of people saying um you know let us investigate let us see what is going on they cast judgment and the first judgment they cast is that they blame the teachers they say that the teachers are at fault hello i'm human we're all humans if you cut me you'll find blood if you cut me i'll bleed red if somebody stabs me i'll, I'll die I am now afraid for my sick, my child. I am afraid for the children in my school. Because if they see that this is okay, that that girl, that young lady and those young men that got into trouble, that they get off with just a warning, then this shit is going to continue in this country. It is going to continue. We're going to continue to have children beating each other up. We're going to continue to have children who are going to kill each other in schools. And then next thing you know, you're going to say that we're at fault. Teachers, let me tell you something. Some of you don't know what teachers go through. Sometimes we don't even have time to go to the washroom because we have to sit down and watch your children. And the what you know that the ones who are the violent ones in the school are the ones who cause the most trouble. They're the ones whose parents will normally come in school to cuss you down and to fight and to harass other children. Do you know how much stress you're putting on the system? Not only the teachers, but welfare. Y'all need to stop and uh, stop judging and stop casting judgment and start thinking about other people picking it and us we are humans i'm not a robot i'm a human being we're all teachers we have lives so you people need to stop blaming us and start taking responsibility for your children's action thank you